when I was going to be 16, it's a big deal for kids, girls, when they have their 16th birthday. I asked my mother if I could have a hope chest. Do you know what that is? My mom said, you don't need a hope chest. You're going to be a concert pianist. And that's sort of how I was raised a little differently. I, I still wanted to be married, but I didn't want that to be the be-all and end-all. Because I was taught to, to have goals. But it wasn't until I came to Hollywood when I found out I was Asian because that's all I was going to play. I wasn't going to be the girl next door. And so then I had to get steeped in not being Filipino, but because most of the roles are Japanese. That's what the name Sumi and Haru comes from. My real name is Mildred Acantilado Sevilla. And my nickname was Mimi. My married name was V.O. So I came to town with the name Mimi V.O. V-I-E-A-U-X. And they said, that'll never do. You've got to get an Oriental-sounding name. So I went to the Burbank Library, looked in the card file, found two names, Sumi and Haru, and stuck them together. And that's how I became Sumi Haru. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what they do to you in this town. <laughs> it, it's not about education, because in this industry, we don't put on our resumes the IMDb doesn't say where you went to school. You didn't. It doesn't say you went to New York Film School or, and most no, we never. Well, I've never asked. It's not realistic to just be an actor. I, I think that we all need to be able to write, to produce, to direct, do some other skill if you want to be in the industry. See, I think maybe we need to reach the young people before they even get to college, before they even set career, career goals. Because everybody wants to be on the glamorous side and be the, the star, but how many stars can you have? We have 120,000 actors in the Screen Actors Guild, and probably 90% of them are unemployed today. So what are your chances? One of the things that we were kidding about is once you get into the writer's room and you're the only Asian, the first thing you should do is use the word fuck. And, and that makes you one of the guys. You know? Obama himself is, is of mixed blood. And he grew up in Hawaii. And who would ever think that he would be president? Um, we've had a secretary of state who was Chinese-American. We've had many people in Congress who are Asian. Um, we run the gamut of all sorts of people, but if they only see us kowtowing and with accents, then we're not thought of as part of the American mainstream.